And he does! Get it. Now roll up or a roll up. With he the got Here, the wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Are we gonna see it? Some knees to the chest and the chin. Come on, her knees. Oh, drops her down Come hard. On. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Somebody famous in the building, but I know the players. Oh, oh hell, you yeah, know you it. You already know. You, you already know. know. <laughs> players tell me. You, you know, know what time it is. Huh? You guys look like you enjoy your jag. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Yeah. 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 What? What? This one's on the house just because it's unfair how they suspended you guys in that last episode, man. Oh, man. Hey, we appreciate that. We bro. appreciate that. Let no me way. tell you something, man. The Players Club, you already know. FEW, longest reigning, undisputed tag team champions. We never lost our belts. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? So we got this new commissioner who want to come in and exact these rules, but we never lost, but she want to take our titles. That's messed up. Messed up. That's messed up. You want to look? Hold on a second. Go ahead, go ahead, Showtime. You deserve it. You know what else was messed up? After the suspensions, you took our money. But when we came back, there was a match in the ring with this little kid and this other guy. And if that's what they want to represent FBW, I can't believe they put that in the ring. I mean, we had to go in there and get that out the ring. It was garbage. Garbage. Straight bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? I hear you, man. And so, now, we got suspended again. Everybody upset. I'm upset. The soul man is upset. You upset. Your mama's upset. Shorty over there upset. Why? Because they know when they see this soul man, when they see the black mama JB Cool, they see real men. They see real talent. And they want us back in the FEW ring. They want us back on top. They want us back for the FEW tag team titles. And then we got a notice in the mail. Yeah. I noticed, G. The commissioner wants us to issue a public apology. No, not the players, girl. <laughs> apology. What is this? Grade school? <laughs> apology. You know what I mean? Players come apologize. The only thing we're sorry for is for the talent that she got representing while we were gone. But you see, we're back this week. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we got some scores to settle. Because a matter of fact, me and G was talking earlier about these guys that was in our business. G, tell them about it. Oh. Oh. Caught your hate. Who? Caught your hate. Them little punks gonna come out here and talk about the players club. Don't worry. They're gonna handle the players club. Do you know? <laughs> 
what the hell they in for the Players Club. This is what we do. Don't try to come here and steal us, our thunder. I we the Players that. Club. <laughs> and we know what? You know what I'm saying. You know what the Players Club That's right. do. You've been watching. Of course, your ink better be careful. Better be careful. Talking about coming with the old, in with the new. They don't know what they coming into. No idea. They never been down the roads we've been. They never paved. They never done anything. You know what I'm saying? But what them boys gonna get if they jump in the players' club business? Uh huh. It's the worst beat down that they ever got in their entire life. So they better make sure. When they jump in, ah, y'all, mm -hmm. they got to be ready. Well, Culture Inc., we hear you talking, but we've been where you're trying to go. Yes. And when we look at you, we know you ain't got what it takes. We know you don't have what it takes. Please. Not even worth the breath I'm talking. Blaze Cub, you wish you could beat. Damn. <laughs> hey, this shit good as it was. The hell with culture eat, they suck. You see, when we get to celebrate, <laughs> and you boys, boys, all three, three men and a baby, I'll tell you what. Commissioner, you want us to issue an apology? <laughs> we issue an apology. Right in the middle of the ring. We ain't sorry for a damn thing we did. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Wrestling. We are coming at you here from the magic city of Miami, Florida. I am your Hanukkah homeboy, your Hanukkah host this evening. My name is the Young Professor. They call me Sticks. And folks, it is the third day of Hanukkah, and it is time for FEW. We have four great matches tonight. It is steaming hot in the FEW arena. We're starting, well, actually, we're not starting off, but we have Prince Ibala versus Scyther tonight. That should be an interesting one. I cannot wait to the see it. The former FEW heavyweight champion versus the wild man Scyther, but Sticks, what we have after that is something I'm very excited about. As someone who celebrated Hanukkah and Christmas growing up, Hanukkah. we have a very special tag team match featuring two very special tag team competitors. I'm talking about the Mensch Among Men, Menchie Mandelson teaming up with the lion from Zion, Samson. Wait a second, what about the other half? Me familiar, me goomba. Hey, yo, what do you say? What do you know? My cousin Vinny. Vinny and Officer Drake yes, are gonna well, be in action. Officer Drake as well. Your boys are gonna have their hands full tonight. They're gonna need some extra gelt to get through this match. Also tonight, we will hear from the former FEW Flares champion, Roxy Rouge. She will be in the house to address the FEW audience and we're gonna start off tonight with a great matchup. We've got Isaiah Zane from the Make It's. He's gonna be taking on the young up-and-comer, Damian Martinez. Folks, don't go anywhere. This is gonna be a jam-packed show. We are getting into the holiday spirit here for Hanukkah. Make sure you follow Fighting Evolution Wrestling on Facebook, FEW Survive on Twitter and Instagram, and Fighting Evolution Wrestling TV on YouTube. Don't touch that dial. We are coming back with some action in just a few moments, ladies and gentlemen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh man, you know I hate jail. Not again. Uh, yeah, I hate jail. Man, you know I hate jail. This has been a great fail. I just wanna make bail. Am I ever getting out? Honestly, I can't tell. Now I'm caught up in the system. Can't escape hell. I need Matthew Glassman. I know that he's gonna fight like hell when he's up in my corner. Try to get me out and keep me out. With him, I'm never worried. He'll give it everything. So call him in a hurry. Hey, you hate jail. And you hate it with a passion Call the law offices of Matthew Glassman You hate jail and you hate it with a passion Call the law offices of Matthew Glassman HateJail.com, check the website HateJail.com, they put up the fight HateJail.com, check the website HateJail.com, they put up the fight Yeah, HateJail.com and the law offices of Matthew Glassman Over 10 years of experience with criminal charges in the Broward, Dade, and Palm Beach County, HL.com. Welcome back, everybody. We are ready to get things kicked off. We are ready to start the show with some in-ring action. So we're going to throw it to Mr. Joshua Flores. He is standing by inside the FEW ring. Gentlemen, wait Have a second. Now, we didn't talk about this, but this is a big deal, folks. JB Cool, Soul Man Alex G, they are fresh off of their second suspension here in FEW. They are finally cleared to come back to action tonight. You got to believe these gentlemen have a lot of feelings boiling up inside after two suspensions. That's a full month off with no pay, Professor. You know, since our show began airing, we've been calling this a restart for FEW. All champions to begin our programming here on Saturday nights were stripped of their championships, and the Players Club were the most upset of the entire group of champions, and they have let their frustrations be heard. It earned them one suspension, and then when they came back, they inserted themselves into a match, got suspended again, and they are here live in the house tonight. Let's hope that they can stay out of trouble. I don't have them listed as being in action, so I'm not sure where they're going with this, Sticks. Let's just watch and enjoy. You know, while all you people out there playing, singing, ghetto sing along, We're here on some serious business. Now, Commissioner Sky has asked the Players Club to come out here and issue an apology. Y'all are boys! An apology for the Players Club? Risk assessment. It was just straight cut and dry. You didn't even Give us any due process. What about our rights? What about the Players Club? Rights, I don't know what this is about rights. I mean, you're employees of the company. You have to abide by the rules and regulations. Justice, professor. They were unjustly stripped of the titles and unjustly suspended. I think we're getting an apology. My deepest apology. But we still are going to continue doing what we want to do until we get our title back. There it is. The right for that's, champions. That's what I thought. Wow. You should stand, Professor. You 
Anderson stand. Show respect well, to the Players Club. The Players Club is back. They are back and they are angry. They are issuing an apology out here, not necessarily for the actions they did. It sounds like they're apologizing for what they plan on doing to the rest of the FEW roster, the FEW tag team division. I'd like to say it's great to have them back, but I'm, I'm not quite sure that's how everyone feels about it. Stakes. That's how I feel about it, Professor. That would be how you feel about it, Sticks. Well, you know what I feel? I feel like it's time to get our first matchup underway, and we hope you're feeling that way, too. So let's take it back inside the FEW Arena. Joshua Flores standing by with tonight's opening contest. All the way from the Bayou Sticks. That's right, it's a long drive. Down I-95. Hey, look at you. Look at that. Look at you. But he is here and he is ready to go. Representing the Big Easy New Orleans, Louisiana, Isaiah Zane, one third of the members of the Make It. He's looking ready for action here tonight. All right, Sticks, talk to me here. Here we've comes. Seen, we've seen this young man in action a couple times now. That's right. He's trying to earn some respect of his own. He is the Rocky of FEW. Small in stature, small in muscularity, large in all kinds of gumption. Damian Martinez looking fired up here tonight as part of the third day of Hanukkah. It is our Hanukkah show. So to all of our Jewish viewers watching far and wide around the world, happy Hanukkah to you from all of us. This match is ready to go. Referee Charlene McKenzie, she's gonna be in charge of the action. This should be hard hitting, it should be fast paced. Don't blink here folks, you might miss something. Isaiah Zane starting out with a side headlock. Launches the much smaller Damian Martinez into the road, but Damian, what he lacks in size, he makes up for in quickness. Wait going second, for what it looks like a tarantula of some type. He's got it modified. Damian on the outside of the apron now. Isaiah Zane looking frustrated, catches a forearm to the face as he comes in hot. A roll up attempt. Isaiah runs through it. Oh, gets caught up, drop toe hold into the second rope. Here comes Damian off the ropes. Back elbow drives him right into the ropes. Plants him face first. Rolls through. Oh, wait a minute, went for a flatline, and now he's got him in a submission hold. We can put him away early. This would be an upset, to say the least. Isaiah Zane rolls through. Oh, Isaiah Zane looking good here. Stomping Damian Martinez right in the chest. Crowd here excited to ready to be back in the Magic City, Miami, Florida. Oh. Backbreaker, tilt a world backbreaker, that is. Cover. Isaiah Zane, cover. Near fall, Damian Martinez able to get the shoulder up. But you can see it, he is feeling all of the pressure, all of the pain. And now Isaiah Zane, like a shark that smells blood in the water, just attacking the back of Damian Martinez. Every match in FEW, so wow. important these days. Since the restart, everybody looking to make their mark. Cover! You see that display of power from Isaiah Zane? He tossed him like a rag doll off that suplex. Isaiah Zane now staying in control. Look at this, continuing to work on the spine, the thoracic spine, oh, to wow. be technical. Listen, put your big words away. Uh, he's working on his back, folks. We'll keep it simple here. And simply put, 
Damian Martinez is in a world of hurt. Isaiah Zane toss him into the ropes. Tanu with a nice kick to the midsection, creates what? separation, but gets caught. Oh my goodness, drives him almost through the mat. Near fall. Charlene McKenzie almost came down with the three. Damian Martinez, the lesser experienced competitor, but hungry as ever, rolls through, ducks the clothesline, little pump kick to the midsection, knee right under the chin, catches him right on the button. Back elbow in the corner. Damian Martinez now, he's got him locked in. Heading up, what are we gonna see here? Tornado DDT. Damian with the cover now, could put him away. Oh, man. Isaiah Zane gets the shoulder up right in the nick of time. Damian back to his feet. Shot to Isaiah Zane. Both these men exchanging blows here. Isaiah Zane oh! drives him down almost effortlessly. Look at this, Isaiah Zane. He's in the high rent district. Frog splash attempt, but he misses. Damian strikes, rolls him up. What do we got here? He's got him locked in. He's got him. He gets him. Well done by the youngster. Damian, Damian Martinez, Martinez. Wow. with the win. I dare say I would call this an upset victory here. Look at the frustration on the face of Isaiah Zane. Isaiah Zane just sitting with his hands on his hips. He can't believe what he just witnessed. And I'm not sure I can either. Damian Martinez looked great out there tonight. Well, you got to believe that I, Isaiah Zane thought just by size alone he had this match won. But let's hear from the victor. Damian Martinez, you beat Isaiah Zane for your second win in a row. How are you feeling right now? 2-2. Two 2-2 and two. Two and two feels great. Started off 0-2. Went up last week. Went up again this week, feeling good, you know? After a bad, bad, bigger luck, I think it's starting to turn around for Damian Martinez. What are your plans? What do you, what's next for Damian Martinez? What's next? Well, y'all heard that apology, right? Apology, right? We don't accept it at all. So next week, I'm gonna challenge the Players Club, me and Scyther. We'll see if they're sorry after that. Wait did, a second. Did, I, did you hear that? I did. I wasn't. I, I didn't know that there was an alliance between Damian Martinez and Scyther, but Scyther being a 16-year veteran, Damian Martinez being a young up-and-comer, it makes sense to me to have a little mentorship here in FEW. Here's what I'm worried about. Is Damian Martinez thinking straight, do you really want an alliance with a guy like Scyther? Well, uh, maybe he's just looking for experience, but before we delve into that any further, let's go ahead and hear from Isaiah Zane. Isaiah Zane. Hard loss there. Really hard fought off with um, Damian Martinez. Uh, what went wrong there? Look, as much as I like to come out here and say, you know, he cheated, he did some dirty tactics, I got to play it fair. He beat me fair and square. I came out, I always come out confident, as we know. But maybe I came out a little too confident looking past him. But it's all good. It's all good. I got respect for him. But just know, <laughs> next time it's not going to happen again. You know, Sticks, that is what we like to see here. Good sportsmanship. He took a loss, but he's not making excuses. He's not making any unnecessary accusations. Just taking it on the chin and saying, hey, next time we're going to go out and do better. Hold on. You know what they say about a good loser? What is that? You're still a loser. Well, folks, you're not going to be losers watching this show tonight. Don't move a muscle. We are coming back right after these words. We arrived in the Dominican Republic, okay. getting ready to do this job. Documentary, Brujeria. We got Jack, he's on sound. We got Shay. Better late than never. How you doing, bro? Luis, man. Luis, nice to meet you. You must be Jack, the man with the camera. What's up, man? What's How you up, doing, man? brother? This is Javier, my sister, man. Right, right, right. right, 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 right do me a favor, make sure you record everything. We got to document everything. Okay.
Welcome to Dominican Republic. Right here. It's beautiful. Not feeling good. The whole crew's not feeling good. Something happened here. I can't. What do you want me to do? Hola, JV. Reports of Brujeria. We got interviews. We got a real live meeting with a Brujo. Some people believe it. Some people don't believe it. This is crazy. <laughs> but guess what? They all know about it. We're on our way to Samana. FEW fans, right now we've got a very special treat for you. Standing by inside the ring, it's not Joshua Flores. No, it's not. Much prettier than Joshua Flores. It's the former FEW Flares champion, Roxy Rouge. Let's hear what she's got to say here tonight.
former champ, not mincing words. Wait a second. Wait just a minute. Yeah. I'm not sure she's going to be able to go on uninterrupted representing Culture Inc. That's the Georgia Peach. That's Kaya Dream. I don't think she appreciated being called out by Roxy Rouge. I'm sure she'll have something to say about it. Uh, snatching the microphone away. Wait just a minute. The Wait a Wait. second. Hold oh, on, Professor. The best part We're, of the show. The flares well represented. Gaia Dream said that no one would stand in her way, and Layla Gray might have something to say that's a bit contrarian Shh, to that stop. statement. Stop talking. Self proclaimed nickname. A lot of big talk from these ladies. Now they are not dressed for competition. Let's go. Who needs a referee? We got a wrestling ring. Let's make it happen. A lot of jaw jacking going on. Layla Gray looking fired up. Kaya Dream looking fired up as well. These two have a lot of unfinished business. And Roxy Rouge. Getting in the face of Layla Gray. A little, a little push in, a little shove. Wait, wait, wait a, a second. Minute. What is this? What is, is this? What who I think is, it is that? Wait a minute. I know who that is. They are not scheduled to be out here yet. They're supposed to be out here next. Folks, tuning in and seeing these men for the first time, that's Menchie Mandelson and Samson. You know, usually, I would be so sorry to interrupt. But the Lucha Jew, Mitchie Mandelson, and the Lion from Zion, Samson, are trying to have a conversation to get ready for Hanukkah tonight. And you're giving me a migraine. So please, check it for my Merry that means Christmas. Stop talking. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. These fans are so rude. Menchi Mandelson, he's shooing the, the Flares division. Samson backing him up. Well, the Flares are not happy, but they are leaving the FEW arena. We got some business to take care of tonight. Let's go ahead and do that, but let's go ahead and start the prayers just to make sure that we're ready. Ah, uh, yes, it is sundown, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Hanukkah prayer. The Hanukkah prayer. Light the candles, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Carla Brown. Is that you? Brenda? Girl, oh, give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> wow, girl, you haven't changed a bit. Thank you, thank you. No, I try, I try, and look at you. You are glowing. So, do you know what you're having yet? Oh, no, she didn't. I'm not pregnant.
The Love Alive Charity is a nonprofit organization founded by professional wrestler, the Pope Elijah Burke. A college graduate and former Jacksonville Sheriff Officer who is a native to Jacksonville, Florida. The mission of the Love Alive Charity is to give back to the community while aiming to improve the quality of life in greater Jacksonville. Since 2012, the Love Alive Charity has positively influenced many people by feeding the homeless, helping displaced families, and restoring faith in disadvantaged communities through humanitarian efforts. Hello, I'm Elijah Burke. With as little of a donation of $1 or more, you can help make a difference in the lives of others. To donate and to learn more about the Love Alive Charity, please visit the ElijahExpress.com. Lesson continues. I'm learning so much. Menchi is going through the traditional Hanukkah prayer. Let's show some respect. We're going to toss it back to the ring and we'll start the tag match soon, I think. That's, that is not part of the prayer. I, what, I don't know. Does, do, they have have what? do they have latkes? Do they have latkes? Some matzo schmier. ball soup would be fantastic. That sounds great. Bagel, bagel and schmear. Sticks, it is Hanukkah. I mean, I'm half Jewish. Do you ever have something? <laughs> so Menchie, man, what is Menchie doing? What is doing? Josh doing? What? So rude. Friends of your sticks? Yes, friends. Me goombas, me familia. Here You're comes Jewish. Officer Drake. You're Jewish, I'm Italian. Let me let me fill you in, all right? <laughs> well, one thing we have in common is we both eat very, very well. Yeah. But you know what? It's Hanukkah. I mean, I. it's always good to see representatives from the People's Court. Vinny Gambini is out here with his briefcase. Right, the whole name. Mamba Gambini would be so proud. Officer Drake out here. This is going to be a very interesting tag team match, a clash of styles. I'm excited to celebrate Hanukkah. I just want to know, did you bring me a present? Did you get me anything? We'll talk about that later. You know, it's it's the third night. I've been, I've been waiting. You're gonna wait a little longer. Uh, all right. Luckily, we got a few more to go. Let's let's hope you, you fulfill your end of the bargain. Christmas is next week. I won't Here's forget about present, you. Here's your present, okay? The People's Court in the ring. That's your present. That's my present right now. You got a gift receipt for that? What's the matter? It doesn't fit. Referee Bruce Owens, senior referee Bruce Owens, checking to make sure everybody is ready to go, and it sounds like they are. Ooh, Samson starting the match here. The young spry officer Drake. Staring down the six foot seven lion from Zion. Whew. That's a whole lot of Hebrew. Samson hails from Israel, ladies and gentlemen. But he and Menchi Mandelson are a force to be reckoned with. This is their first appearance together as a tag team at Fighting Evolution Wrestling. And what a night for them to debut. It makes perfect sense to me. I've seen these two in action before. And right now, Vinny oh. Gambini is getting an up close look at the action. Oh. Samson with that big stop. Here comes Menchi. The Mensch among men. Look at this, the wheelbarrow. If he were a rich man. What? The Fiddler elbow. Great movie, Fiddler on the Roof. Cover on Vinny Gambini. Vinny gets that shoulder up. For those that don't know, before it was a movie, it was a play. Say musical. It is a fantastic musical. Educate yourself, folks. You're welcome. Menchi driven into the corner with all the force, all the body weight of Vinny Gambini just punishing him. 
That's no way to celebrate Hanukkah. That's cannolis. That's where that body weight's come from. That's cannolis. Forearm shot from Officer Drake. The People's Court are in control right now. The Lucha Jew, Menchie Mandelson. He gets caught a half Nelson. Some stiff knee strikes right into the midsection, into those ribs. Oh, uh, Menchie just pounding his face right into that top turnbuckle. Officer Drake smartly makes the tag. Here comes Vinny. Vinny now the legal man. Hey! Big shot to the midsection. Menchie doing all that he can to fight his way back to his feet and get back on the offensive. But no such luck, Vinny Gambini. Everybody's got a plan until they get a knee in the face. Vinny in complete control now. Smart makes the tag. This is a remarkably aggressive Vinny Gambini. Vinny, if you will recall, has never lost a case. Top prosecutor in the state of New York. A chop from Officer Drake. Gonna wrinkle that shirt. Fans here are starting to get into the spirit of the holiday. It's the eight crazy nights. They're getting behind my Hanukkah homeboy, Menchie Mandelson. You're ridiculous. I will, I, I do want to learn how to play dreidel. Can you teach me? I can teach you. We're probably going to have to do it off the air. But we've got a few nights, so hey! we'll work on it. Look at Officer Look at Drake. This. this is uncalled for. Play this is not sportsmanlike. This is un... Sportsmanlike, it's a fight. Samson back out on the apron, trying all he can to get back in this thing because Menchie is in need of some help. Speaking of Menchie, do you know what a mensch is? I don't, but you please a enlighten mensch me. A mensch is a, uh, a, a Hebrew word or a Yiddish word meaning uh, a, a gentlemanly type fellow. Uh, well, so not you. So definitely not me. Definitely not you. And Menchie Mandelson is the mensch among men. The oh, mensch of Epi. Hey, Vinny Gambini on. goes down. A, ch a chop block what? attacking the left knee of Vinny Gambini. That's illegal. That's a desperation maneuver, but it was effective. Menchie, he's edging ever closer to that beast of a partner. The Lion from Zion extending his very long arms. That's an advantage that they have. Officer Drake, Officer in. Drake is in. He's There's the tag. Uh oh, oh and no. O Officer Drake stops in his tracks. A huge headbutt over the top rope comes the Lion from Zion. The lion. Shoulder tackle off the ropes. That is a monster of a man inside that ring. Officer Drake getting tossed about oh. like a child. That was the Hebrew hammer from Samson. Samson as big as the Wailing Wall. Samson, Irish whip into the corner. Here comes the big lion. Oh, oh wait a minute, catches a boot from Officer Drake. Officer Drake knows his way around a Wait fight. a minute, he's got oh, a standing no. fireman's carry. Hanukkah, yes, it, that's a dreidel spin. I know that anywhere. You asked me to teach you, I think Samson's gonna teach you sticks. Dreidel, 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 I made you. Oh, wait. He's going the opposite what? direction. That is skill. Yes. It is difficult to spin a dreidel in both directions, but Samson, oh, wait a minute. Officer He's dizzy. Drake. Wait, the tag. Menchie just tagged himself in. No, Samson's discombobulated. He doesn't know hey, where he is. All right. But Samson, no. Yeah, this is my kind of Hanukkah. Oh, oh look at this. Vinny Gambini shoves it. Shoves Menchie. Menchie's head just clacked right under the chin of Samson. Oh, here it comes. The Rotini! Freshly made! No, not this Rotini. way. Not on Hanukkah, no! Oh. Yeah! Way to go! <laughs> Menchie Mandelson and Samson had this one in the bag. The they were going to be the heroes of Hanukkah. They were going to win this one, Sticks. And well. A little miscommunication on the part of it. What oh, is wait, this? Look at this. Look at this. Aren't you all about sportsmanship? I am, but huh? you know what? It's Hanukkah, and that was uncalled for. Samson now left in the ring with Vinny Gambini. Menchie Mandelson on the outside here. That, oh, that's the leg that that's, was being attacked earlier in the match. That's the bad leg. What is happening right you see, now? You see, this is what happens when you denigrate Hanukkah. Give me that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Menchie Mandelson joining us here at the table. I'll tell you. This is what happens. This is what the beast Samson is going to do when you are denigrating the, the lion from Zion, Samson. 
and Menchie Mandelson, when you denigrate a nothing but destruction. That's right. Wait, a, what? That's right. He still I, lost the match. Wait a minute. Like this, I, I mean, I am about sportsmanship. This is, they were, they lost. I What's mean, happening here? What, look at what this, wait a minute, hunting up top. What are, are you the condoning, evil eye. Are you condoning this? Uh, that's the Hamza splash right under the knee of Vinny Gambini. That knee was under attack earlier. My oh cousin my is goodness. in serious trouble. Mama the, Gambini is gonna have to make. The lion from Zion, Samson, Menchie, Mandelson. They don't come away with a victory here tonight, but That's Hanukkah, assault. Hanukkah belongs to them. What an unbelievable tag team match, folks. We are gonna continue. Don't go anywhere, folks. We got one more match coming up right after these words. I'm Dr. Richard Davidson, and at our chiropractic offices, it's not what happens inside the office, but what happens on the outside that counts. Our goal is to get you back to doing the activities that you love to do in life. The less time you spend in our offices, the better. At our multiple locations, we offer chiropractic care, massage therapy, physical therapy, and medical services. We have all the tools to ensure that you live a happy, healthy life. Patients come to our offices for many different reasons. We take care of professional athletes, seniors, newborns, auto accident injuries, and people who just want to maintain their healthy lifestyle. Our team is always welcoming new patients into our offices. Come back today for a free consultation. Thank you for joining us back here, ladies and gentlemen. It's the young professor right in sticks for Fighting Evolution Wrestling. I mean, right now they are still carting Vinny Gambini out of the FEW arena. The vicious attack. It's just not fair. From the lion from fair. Zion and Menchie Mandelson. These are your people. They were very disappointed by their loss on Hanukkah. They, they Hanukkah was ruined, and they took it out on the people's court. Vinny Gambini is going to need to receive some medical attention. It looked like an injury, perhaps, to his left leg. I'm so sad so, right now. All of our best wishes to Vinny Gambini, and, and hopefully he makes a full recovery soon and returns to action. But, folks, speaking of action, we've got one more match coming your way, and it features the former FEW champion, Prince Ekbala. He's going to be taking on that wild man that we call Scyther. Joshua Flores is standing by in the ring. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Is 
26 on a list of the most impressive, most intimidating competitors you've ever had the opportunity to call a match for. Where does Prince Iqbala rank for you? Top of the list, you are looking at the ruler. We'll let Josh do his job there. The ruler of the new nation, one of the largest men. He gets bigger every time I see him, Professor. He is an athlete among athletes, one of the most in shape, unbelievably intimidating performers that I've ever seen. Prince Iqbala, the essentially uncrowned champion of FEW. He was the one that was stripped upon our restart here, and he has been letting it known that he is the top dog in FEW since we have come back. But Iqbala will have his hands full here because the man that is about to head down the staircase and into the FEW arena is among the most unpredictable seasoned competitors on the entire roster. There's a classic saying in the world of fighting, styles make fights. This is an absolute clash of styles. Pure power versus pure insanity. I have no idea what we're about to see, but I know it's gonna be good. Well, this crowd is certainly behind Scyther. Let's see if Scyther can live up to the hype here from the crowd. Because Scyther is certainly outsized. Prince Iqbala, look at just the pacing of Prince Iqbala. He moves slow, so slowly, so methodically. It's such a juxtaposition against the frantic, quick-natured maneuvers of a man like Scyther. That's exactly what Scyther's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to move quick. He's going to have to be effective. You know, we heard earlier tonight from Prince Iqbala, I heard him having a discussion with Josh earlier. And one of the things he said about a wild man like Scyther, who acts very much like an animal, is it is very much like the experiences. Oh my God, he just is completely unaffected by those frantic strikes of Scyther. Scyther going for a headbutt and did more harm to himself. Prince Iqbala, those monstrous mitts, just squeeze it. That'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple sticks. Is he screeching? It's like a monkey in a tree. Oh, look at that backbreaker. Prince Iqbala is so impressive. So dominant. So sadistic. And oh so God. powerful, my goodness. That's a grown man. Running, power oh. slam! Prince Iqbala driving Scyther into the mat. Oh, Scyther. surprising everyone. Prince Iqbala said that when he used to hunt animals, in fact, he said that the gear that he wears in that ring are is made of the fur of animals that he has killed and hunted with his bare hands. He said he ripped the fur from the flesh of their bones. Not just the fur, but the teeth. The teeth as well as part, part, of, his, part of his giant cape. Oh! Wait a minute. He misses with a big splash. Scyther has to do something now to take advantage. This is an opportunity that doesn't come your way very often when you're inside the ring with Prince Iqbala. Ripping but Scyther making face. use of it to the maximum effort. Referee Charlene McKenzie breaks up that illegal eye rake. Scyther choking the big man down. This is an interesting and intelligent tactic for a man that comes off as wild as Scyther. This is a very strategic maneuver by him, trying to take the oxygen out of the lungs of Prince Iqbala, essentially eliminates his ability to fight back and gives Scyther more of a fighting chance against a man that is twice his size. Well, I think People say well on Scyther, his communication skills not, might, uh, might not be up to par, but the brain still works. Clearly, I mean, he's been a competitor in this business for over 15 years. You don't stick around this long, folks, if you don't have an idea of what you're doing. And Scyther right now is showing everybody in FEW what he's capable of. This is the first time I've ever seen Prince Iqbala on his knees, especially for this long. Look at this. Just pulling back on the arms of Prince Iqbala. Prince Iqbala 
still feel the effects of the assault in the corner. The rakes to the eyes. Oh, oh, but look at this. You're starting to see Prince Iqbali getting his strength back about him, inching his way ever closer to the ropes, and the strength of Prince Iqbala. This is frightening if you're Scyther. He's watching his advantage slowly melt away as Prince Iqbala comes back to life. And a rear-facing hip attack sends Scyther back onto the mat. Prince Iqbala, explosion of quickness! Took his head off with that monstrous clothesline. The ruler of the new nation is the ruler of that ring right now. Look at those strikes. Look at those vicious overhand punches from Prince Iqbala. The only thing Scyther can do is cover up. Charlene McKenzie doing all she can to break up this. Oh, oh look no. at this. Prince Iqbala, that's uncalled for. That is oh. uncalled for. She's throwing this one out. Prince Iqbala has been disqualified. That's a disqualification for sure. Scyther picks up the victory, but he's not looking very much like a winner. The man standing in that ring. If I were Charlie McKenzie, I'm getting out of Dodge as quickly as possible. I'm going down the street. And the winner of the match by disqualification, Scyther. There you hear at the official ruling, Joshua Flores. That is the call from Charlie McKenzie. Scyther comes away with a victory here from disqualification. He survives. I'm not sure what he'll say. He doesn't usually say much, but let's throw it back to a post-match conference with Scyther. Okay, boo, boo. Yeah! Oh, I got my... Oh, 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 oh. So much for hearing from the competitors. Prince Iqbala it's just chaos. showing off that dominant spirit that he is known for. That's what made him FEW champion before. you got to believe that he is looking to get back in the hunt, no pun intended, and reclaim that championship somewhere down the line. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Happy Hanukkah to all of our fans celebrating Hanukkah around the world. On behalf of all of us here with Fighting Evolution Wrestling, we will be back next week. My name is The Young Professor. They call me Sticks. And folks, we'll see you next time. And that is all the people need to know.